Well, uh, today I'm going to talk about joining cast iron to ABS or PVC and to copper as well, and or ABS to copper or PVC to copper. Um, there's a few different products out there now. I believe we talked about Fernco's before, and here, for example, is these are Fernco coupling. This is made in Canada. This is Mission coupling. Uh, little rib inside here. That's the only difference basically between the two. They're a little more difficult to slide on but they do the exact same thing. Um, and the way that the Fernco works it's pretty straightforward. Um, say for example if you had a stack like so coming up and you wanted to tie a tie a TY for example into it um, and lay that down because it doesn't really matter if it's on the horizontal or the vertical, you do the exact same thing. So you you find out what height you want it at. You want to put your TY in. Um, and you'd glue a piece of pipe in this end. You'd cut your line and take a two inch fern coat for example. Um, let's go with this. So I've cut the line off cut the line off and I've glued a piece into the TY then I'm going to if, there, if you have movement in your stack this way right you can actually glue this TY onto the uh, onto the line going up and swing it over slide your fern co on swing it back into place bring it up and put the uh, tighten these two clamps here and that's it if you don't have if you don't have the play to go this way and it's quite solid sometimes it is because there might be a two by four on either side stud on either side of the uh, the stack so you may have to put another fern co above here you're just going to glue two pieces into your fitting cut that section out and use two fern coats, one on the top and one on the bottom and that's one way to get around it if your stack doesn't move. Now there's another product they have out now, well they've had those for years and ever since they stopped uh, using lead and oakum they've come up with a few different systems. Bibby, one, that was a, installed years ago and this is an MJ band, an MJ coupling and it's uh, made of neoprene, very similar material to the fern coast. But uh, what you do with this, you do the exact same thing. You take the, here's a piece of cast for example. The only thing about the coupling, it's a little bit tighter on the pipe itself. So there's a little bit more effort. Now, one thing, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just to show you exactly what uh, what has to be done here hopefully we can see that so it doesn't slide right down and I don't know if you can see that or not Let's, inside this there's the neoprene has a little lip inside there so the, the pipe tightly goes to it and uh, it's right in the center. It's an inch in in either either end. It's right in the middle. And what takes place um, with these is it's just a matter of sliding it onto the pipe. You add your you would add your um, say if you're going ABS for example or PVC, you just take it, slide it into place, put your clamp on, tighten it up. The only problem with this, it doesn't work like a uh, a fern coat coupling because you can't slide it right through. So to get around this, the reason I'm showing this is because uh, some places don't sell fern coats. They only have MJ couplings, and MJs also come in a uh, come in a uh, dimension where it's the copper actually fits in there tight and they're actually built out so that the copper itself um, tightens up quite nicely. If not, 
it's good to put it put the fitting on a on a um, it's good to put the coupling on a fitting uh, rather than the pipe because it doesn't snug up that well it doesn't look great either but to get around the, uh, the other little problem I'm just going to take a good utility knife with a sharp blade and you're just going to trim the center part right down to the right down to the, uh, the inner part of the coupling I'm going to remove this all together Then you can take this and do the exact same job that you're going to do with the <clears throat> with the fern goes. Big thing to, that you have to do with with this now is to actually mark your pipe, right? You're going to mark down an inch to make sure that your coupling is uh, evenly divided between the two fittings. Something else that uh, you'll have a little bit of a problem with is that. Cast iron and ABS are actually a little bit different in their outside dimensions. Um, it's probably an eighth of an inch. The ABS is wider. So you'll notice that when I try to put it on the ABS, it's quite tight. But it will go on, just like so. down about an inch. It will go on the cast quite a bit easier than the ABS, but you can take that now and slide it down past uh, past the coupling, then slide it back up. It is more of an effort than the fern goes, but it will work. So that's something that you should look at if you're ever going to do an install on a stack. Something else when it comes to tightening up these fittings. Uh, bring that camera back a notch now. If you're going to tighten these <coughs> couplings up, you actually want to uh, I'll speed up the process. You actually want to tighten each clamp a little bit at a time. You don't want to Tighten the clamp completely on, on one side because it will it will twist on you, and I'll just show you exactly what I mean by that. Actually, wasn't bad on the ABS, but stupid cast. And you can see how it turns here. You don't want that. You want them going. Equal. So you're going to just put a little bit on either side. I'm going to back this off a notch. And you sometimes have to hold them in place to get them there. I mean, you will be using a nut driver. I'm just using this as, a, as an example of a little faster demonstration. So that's it. They work fine. Um, put in thousands, as well as Fernco's, and uh, it's a great product. But that will that will serve the same purpose if you can't get hold of a Fernco coupling. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.